my god. I'm fed up. I've had enough. I, you know, I, I try to play the nice role, try to make things easy, try to, you know, be optimistic about a lot of things. But when it comes to this particular player in this particular situation right now, it, it's it's getting really, really frustrating. And I'm talking about none other than Mr. Julius Randle. The point of the matter for me is, though, you know, I as much as uh, no matter how how I feel about Julius Randle, I always said it just didn't seem possible. It didn't seem like it would make sense for you to move on from Julius Randle this soon after a, a season like last season. But I'm off all that. I got some things to say. Run the intro. What's going on, CK Crew? It's your boy CK2K. Welcome back to another video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. Do not forget to like this video. Uh, not many pleasantries. I don't plan to make this video very long. My battery is going to die anyway, so I, I don't want to take up too much of you guys' time. I'm not even going to talk too much about yesterday's game. We should have won that game, but yet we're letting another player that a lot of you guys may not have ever heard about in Jose Al Alvarado, Avocado, whatever it was. No disrespect, but good game. Frustrating game. I got nothing to say about it. Shout out to Mitchell Robinson. Shout out to RJ Barrett. Um, other than that, I mean, Quentin Grimes was great. You know, I want to be excited. I want to I want to be excited about those kind of things. You know, Quentin Grimes was in his bag in that game. You know what I mean? Uh, Mitchell Robinson was in his bag in that game. I, I want to sit here and talk to you guys about how Mitchell Robinson finally showed up against a skilled big. That's always been the biggest mark on Mitchell Robinson is that he never really uh, showed up too much against these skilled bigs that can that are stretches and they can do everything and Mitch Robinson did a good job yesterday because to me that's not I don't care about that right now I'm so pissed off about just the direction of where this team has been going mind you we're I get it I get it I get it for the we're doing as well as we did last year I get that trust me I do get it I am an optimistic guy I'm a positive guy I'm not in that mood right now because I just feel like we're going the wrong way whether we do turn it around and get the playoffs this year, we're going the wrong way. Uh, I have one simple rule. I always say by about the 20 to 25 game mark in a season, that's when you know who a team is. We should have listened when the Knicks told us who we were by the 20 to 25 game mark. We should have listened. I didn't even listen to my own rule. I kept saying, you know, we're still trying to figure it out. We have all these pieces, blah, 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 blah. We knew who we were. But we tried to hope that it would change. <laughs> now, yes, since that time, we've seen Mitchell Robinson play a lot better. Since that time, we've seen R.J. Barrett play a lot better. But Julius Randle, who's supposed to be our leader, he's been so up and down. Now, mind you, what I'm going to follow and say, these are strictly my opinions, my 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 thoughts, my rant. So agree or disagree, I, would, I, I can't wait to see what you guys have to say in the comment section below. But just understand that this is just, this, this is just how I'm feeling right now. This is, just, this is just how I'm feeling and how I've been feeling but been trying to you know stay patient with it. But I just genuinely don't know where it's gonna go from here i just definitely don't know I, I and i still think come february 3rd when he's available to be traded i still don't think that the knicks are gonna trade him. what i still don't think that the knicks are going to make a move for julius randall when they're able to make that move for julius randall i still don't think it's gonna happen what the but i am approaching that point where i feel like it should for who and I, that's 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 another video we'll talk about that in another video but I, I just think that it might be that time it might be the best for both situations julius randall we, we forget that this is his third season as a new york knit one season where it was not great another season where it was above and beyond and in this season we're seeing you know that middle ground you look at julius randall's stats without watching a single basketball game that he's played this year and his stats look fine his stats look solid but it's the other stuff that's really gotten me irritated the emotions the frustrations i to be real with you i was with julius randall when he was initially upset when he didn't get the foul call and then it led to the kimball walker technical foul i get it but the fact that you were so emotional that it carried on over to that technical foul after a great hustle play and giving up a free throw into the second half that's what i'm talking about to the point where now we're in, in, in an area where the knicks are trying to hide you from the media but yeah we have rj barrett 21 years old going up against the berman question hell even mitchell robinson the last few games in these kind of efforts in these kind of games we're having rj barrett come out and face up the, the music where's julius randall i know a lot of you guys always whenever just because we have a guy that was an all-star the first thing a lot of you guys did last year was compare Julius Randle's all-star year to what was given to us by Carmelo Anthony. And you knew I never compared the two because I don't. I, it's night and day. Julius Randle, yes, he's a dog at times when he chooses to be a dog. But that's as far as I'm going to go as far as any kind of comparisons between him and Carmelo Anthony. They are two completely different beasts. Carmelo Anthony put in the work every, all, all which way. Not just on the court as the, the best guy, but off the court when their fingers are being pointed at him. 
when he was being blamed for situations. Now, Carmel Anthony Stent as a Nick it was not all peaches and and strawberries and and, and 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 rainbows and sunshine. I'm not gonna say that, but at least Carmel Anthony was accountable for the majority of it. Whether he was playing bad, whether he was playing good, but he wasn't, you know, communicating with certain teammates and stuff like that. He was there. He spoke to us. He talked in a year following the season you had. Like last year, you know, when all the good things are going on, you're getting the MVP chance and getting all the praise and whatnot. You're eating that up. <clears throat> Commercials, doing shows with Fat Joe and stuff like that. You're eating it up. Now it's going the other way and, and you can't handle it. <clears throat> I don't know how to feel about that. The whole thumbs down situation, though, I don't really care too much about it. The fact that that is an emotion you have where you feel like the, feel the need to thumbs down the crowd because you're so emotionally upset with us because we're booing you. I, I genuinely feel that it just might not be healthy for him in New York. I genuinely feel it just might not be healthy for him. He just can't handle it. And and that's the thing. This is, this is why it's hard for me to, to talk on this because I don't want to be... Julius Randle is a human being at the end of the day. He's a human being. So for all we know, he could be going through something mental right now. And it's just, you know, he's just not in a good place. So the Knicks are protecting him from that. Fine. Be that as it may. But you got to understand a lot of people aren't going to have that mindset. They're going to have the mindset. You scored four points in this game. And now you don't want to talk to us after a loss against a team that we're supposed to beat. I don't care about that other stuff. That's what some people are going to feel like. Or the majority of people are going to feel like. So to that, I say maybe this is just not what's best for him. Maybe New York is just not. He's not built for this city. He's not built for New York. Whether it is, you know, whether it's the fact that he just doesn't want to talk to us or whether it's the fact that it might be more than, you know, just if it's anything more than that. I'm not saying it is because I'm seeing that defense. That's the one defense I've, a lot of people are hitting me with, you know, maybe it's psychological and this, that, that. Maybe it is. But then that still furthers my point that maybe he's just not meant for him in New York. Go to Sacramento in a trade for De'Aaron Fox. Maybe you can have Sacramento better. I don't know. Like, I still respect you for, you know, taking less money in the deal. And you did deserve to get paid. Regardless of what people would think, should we have sold high when you maybe, but you deserve to get paid after the season you had last year to turn it around from one from year one to year two. Yeah, you should have gotten paid for it. I, I, I firmly believe that. But as far as, you know, long term, this might not be it. And yes, I am a RJ Barrett stand, but right across from you, you got a 21 year old, a kid, a kid, 21 years old that a lot of these same people that are booing you are are, are judging him as if he's a 30 year old vet. He has to see a lot of the same things on social media. They're judging because he's not John Morant or not Zion Williamson. He sees the same stuff. A lot of the things are coming at him the same way, but he's 21 years old and he's still talking to the media. So that's what I'm saying. If it is more than, you know, what we're seeing at face value, then it might just be time for, you know, for, for us to move on from him. It's just very frustrating, you know, whatever direction you want to take this in. It's just very frustrating that just the whole saga of Julius Randle this season has just been so frustrating. And it's so hard because, like, I do want to defend him because I, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of jumping the gun on a lot of things. If we're going to play good one minute and then we play bad, you got to meet in the middle. To me, I hate when we lose games and we're just jumping off of a cliff and, you know, we're this, we're that. And then also the same way when we're doing well, then we're jumping off the cliff that way as well. The whole 50 wins and stuff like that. And people were like, yo, CK, man, you used to be so positive. Why are you only giving us 44 wins? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I like to be even killed, but stay on the positive side of that. This whole thing has just been really, really frustrating to, um, to, to, to live through. And it's really uncomfortable at this point now, you know? It's been really uncomfortable to see it because I don't want to attack him as a man. But at the same time, as a fan of this basketball team, and this is what you're providing after you get paid and you don't want to talk to media, you don't want to hear those, maybe this just ain't it for you. And maybe the Knicks should not be so timid and so uh, scared to, to move on from Julius Randle. Three seasons of him. We had two and a half seasons of him. You know what I mean? Maybe it's time to move on. You're, you, you, while all this is going on, you're seeing that you have a guy that you could possibly build with for the long term you might have your two wings for the long term you, you know mitchell robinson we might be seeing who mitchell robinson actually is when he's healthy and when he's utilized properly you guys are drafting well you guys are handling your draft picks well for the first time in almost damn near a decade and some change so don't be scared and then the tom thibodeau thing that's another a whole other conversation at this point the only reason why i don't want to fire tom thibodeau is because i just don't want to ha keep going through a coaching carousel you know what I mean? That's literally the only reason why I don't want to fire Tom Thibodeau at this point. But that's a conversation for another video. So all that to say this, uh, you know, call this emotional call. What do you want to call it? Um, like I said, this this season, this this saga of Julius Randle to me 
is starting to go in the direction of toxicity and like i said i just feel like you know it, it just it, this just might not be it for you man now the big question is do the knicks make a move when he's a, when he's made available was it a week before the deadline it's february 3rd and then the trade deadline is like february 10th or 11th or something like that decisions have to be made man i didn't want to make this video long but i do feel like it needs to be said like i feel like i'm coming in here trying to defend it and trying to make it make sense and trying to say yes he's bad but it's going to be okay look man look man Look, man, that game I saw, these last two games I saw, these last two basketball games I saw from the New York Knicks, there's something missing more than just the talent on the court. There's something going on more than just the talent on the court. You could talk about Tom Thibs. We could talk about, like, there's, there's just something going on. Something going on and something needs to be cut off. And at this point, I, I think it's Julius Randle. Even somebody that, you know, I'm not supporting in Evan Fournier. That moment right there, like, I get what you, when you're emotional, I get it. I understand. Oh, and emotions take over. You don't know what you're doing and you just want to get your thought out and get your frustration out, whether that is by your verbal words or by throwing fists. But that was a little bit aggressive on how he handled that with Evan Fournier. I'm going to be real with you. Especially when you're carrying over something that pissed you off so long ago, you just made a great hustle play. I think that was just more a culmination of just everything going on throughout the entire season more than anything else because Julius Randle's always been an emotional player but this is a different level this might be time to move on from Julius Randle that's the point I'm making um but let me know your thoughts man uh over dramatic uh you agree disagree um do you think I'm being too harsh do you think I well, let me know everything you're thinking about this whole situation but yeah I look it, it might be time to move on for Julius Randle for everybody's sake the Knicks are in a weird spot. We're in a weird spot. And like I said, trust the team that you see in those first 25 games. But when you see a team like us that showed no kind of consistency, that showed no type of offense, that showed no type of identity, that showed no type of anything outside the fact that we have good pieces all around that are not being used well, we should have trusted what we saw from the Knicks in the first 25 games. Anyways. Like I said, let me know your thoughts about everything I said. I'm talking way too much. It's supposed to be a short video. Rant over. Let me know your thoughts about everything in the comments below. Um, as always, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell. Do not forget to like this video. Uh, more of a positive vibe stream tonight. Um, you know, over on my channel, CKTV. We'll talk more about this. If you have more thoughts, we talk about the Knicks. So we talk about everything over there. But it is my gaming channel, comedic channel, whatever you want to call it. Be a part of it. Be a part of the conversation. All right. I'm out of here. See you guys in the next one. Let's get it. As I always say, I've said my piece. Now it's time to hear yours. All right. I'm out of here. I stand by what I said. It's time to move on from Julius Randle. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cold pizza. Tuesday. Tuesday. I got food up in the fridge Y'all keep looking for that new way I think I like it how it is